Now the second step, we go to Fine Reader and we import images. Uh, we have Alberti here, this is our own painting and this is treated uh, like a folder with the scan images. It treats it as uh, sim single pages and as uh, pictures. So look that uh, these things here are switched on. This increases the quality dramatically but creates some crazy artifacts as we will see. So open that. Now you will do that in two steps. Imports the images and then scans uh, and parses and recognizes uh, texts and pictures. This will take about uh, 20 minutes and uh, we will skip that. Here we are now uh, with recognizing texts and images. So this is uh, proper with uh, 300 dpi and you see it takes plenty of time. So I will come back if it is uh, done. Now this is our uh, result. Uh, we have that, that's fine. Now we can check it. We have some warnings uh, concerning resolution. This is not a key problem. But by observing the process you see what we have here. So this is properly identified as a field of a, a text field. You can edit that if you like. All these editors are here. You have an inspector. So and uh, let's see we have one major problem. This is uh, here. It, and I'd seen that by which is very interesting and I think thank you. So it's 109. Here, this is an interesting uh, problem. And you see the, this enhancement, an enhancement of, of drawings. Thought this is a, this, this perspective drawing is a distortion, and he made this first line horizontal. So by that, he distorted the whole page, and these are is identified as pictures. And this is identified as fragments of text. So and we have to repair that. So we can, for example, say with this, uh, with this tool here, we can identify that. And then we can uh, say this all should be a picture. So, but this is not, uh, so we can say this is not a picture and then get rid of it. So these kind of things. Uh, but we have to reread the whole page and we have to switch off the, these preferences. So just delete this page because this is uh, nonsense. So and then add a new page, import images. So but we need to get this page number 109 from our source. So the source was here. Alberti, we have it here. We go for 109, should be around there, here it's exactly 109, that's fine. So we have, this is our page, and then we simply make a screenshot. So that's the most straightforward way. Take the screenshot, have it here on, on our on desktop, and uh, say add a page, import images, so and then we say we deactivate these things and go for desktop and then we have no image in, um, improvements which lead in the wrong, led in the wrong direction. So open that and uh, here we are. So say close and this is proper but there he identified a text here Let's go in detail. We identified that as a text, which is nonsense. It's not a text, it's part of the picture, and this is, should be part of the picture as well. So we identify that and delete it. So and then we have this picture, this should be 
or bigger, so in both directions. So this should be our picture. Give it a little more space here. So if we read that, then he is rereading it with our uh, improvements. Now we have to sort these pages. We can do it here. And this page is 109. Change the order. And then we have a properly formatted page at 109. What is this? Ah, this is not good as well. So go in. Okay, we can improve that as well. Go here, delete that, go here, delete that, improve it here, and then you have you can check all these drawings. Now this is okay, this is okay. Takes too long to this is okay. So normally this is okay. And uh, this is how it works. Now we want to export it. So we want to export it at HTML so that machine can read it properly. PD8 is, uh, keeps, in principle, it's a readable and uh, a format. You can parse PDF, but the documentation there is very weak because yeah, Adobe and PDF is just to keep, uh, it should be portable, but you should keep the intellectual properties. So quite different from HTML, which is uh, here which uh, tries to be extremely transparent, connectable and uh, readable. So therefore, if we put our text to HTML, it's super precise, super simple uh, to parse. So go for uh, a plain text. Uh, we should not have that. No line, line breaks. Image quality should be high. UTF-8. We can go to 16, but uh, Mathematica is doing with, with 8. Table of content, we don't want that. And uh, go for next. So this is the next step. Uh, create separate files for each page, not one page, HTML, for, uh, HTML file for all the pages. We want to have it in separate pages. Keep an eye on that. We don't want to see it in Finder. So go for the library, go for Alberti and say this should be Alberti uh, on picture on pictures. So export it and this is quite fast. Not a lot to do. So if we look it up, Alberti, then we see we have this directory. We open that, we see all the files. All the HTML files, for example, is 0109, we know, or go for 108. So we have a piece of text. If we go to 109, we have our corrected uh, text. We can inspect it if you have this open with this and uh, enable this on the preferences as described several times, say uh, in Web Inspector, then you will see the code for this rendering. If we go here, we see it's very clear. Paragraph, the text, paragraph. So for the image, we have it here. That's the image, paragraph, first paragraph, it's here. Very clear, very straightforward. The image itself is this source, Alberti, Alberti HTML, this file. So these supporting files are, by convention with HTML, here. Same name, but files, a directory, and these are all the sources. If we go here, we see our picture ready to use for our other implementations. So this is a format good for uh, machines for our processing. By our convention, this file should have the name HTML, nothing else, in all books. And we have to take care, you see it here, name and extension, that 
the finder is not showing the extension. I have to go to the inspector and say name and expansion should be without it. So HTML, that's it. So, and this is what we want to have. And now, next step, we can export different formats. For example, now uh, the image. Normally we start with the image. <coughs> uh, now we reconstruct them from the PDF. So simply choose image here, JPEG, full color. Our, in our case, it's uh, grayscale or black and white to reduce the amount of files. Say next. We want to have to be within our, the, the folder of our book and say Alberti on pictures. Export. And this takes a little longer. Okay, now let's look it up. Alberti, JPEG, change it uh, again as uh, just JPEG. And within this, we have now, now we have the images of all pages in this numbering. So it's important that uh, we have these numbers and JPEG, no other format. This is what we need in uh, Mathematica. So go for, for example, our 109, and this is our uh, page. We had a screenshot of. Good. Here we are. So this is Alberti, this is our meta, the source, and now the machine readable text, and this is the man reading text by our eyes. Ready for the next step, which will be my Mathematica notebook uh, rendered and translated from the HTML. Thanks for watching and see you soon.